of my life was getting married to you. Shameless man! I doubt if you know that you have turned yourself to a nuisance in this house. Ever since I know you, you have never come up with any good thing in life. Eh? In fact, you are causing a major setback in my life. Hey. Hey. <laughs> well said. Well said, woman. I am causing a major setback in your life. I put it to you. That you are a foolish, good for nothing woman. You are the worst thing that can ever happen to any man. Just listen to me as I tell you your CV as a wife. Because I have them all. Number one, Yabo, you lack respect. You disrespect me as your husband. I am the head of this house. You don't regard me. As your husband in this house. Hey, 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 stop there. Stop there. Eh? Respect for who? You are not the only one who knows how to talk. Eh? We both went to school. Eh? You are not a loving husband. And according to the word of God, loving your wife comes before getting her respect. Eh. So, you even have the effrontery to talk against me. Why not? Ah, this is the lack of respect you are talking about. Hmm? And I know that that bad character, you brought it from your parents' house. Don't even go there, Mr. Man! Eh? You call me Mr. Man? See, that is the lack of respect we are talking about. Ah, Yabo, I married you, I paid your dowry. Now, you are calling me Mr. Man. Eh? Is that what you are supposed to be calling me? Anyway, that will not stop me from telling you what is on my mind. Number two, Yabo, you are very dirty. Ah! Kai, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have never seen a woman as dirty as you are. Eh? How I wish everybody can have access to our bedroom and see how dirty you are. See who is not dirty. There is no day I don't pick your dirty clothes, socks, and shoes literally around in the living room. Don't even go there. Don't go there. Have you forgotten how your mouth smells? I only manage to kiss you sometimes. Eh? I am equally managing you. Eh? I am equally managing you. You need to see so many pretty, neat, Godly women in the church who are admiring me. Oh! I wish Pastor knows your recall. You pretender. I wish I was married to another man. I will no longer argue with you, Yabo. Because I know that you will not listen and you will not accept correction. This is the way you will be shouting, shouting, shouting. And I know that this bad habit, this bad character is traceable to your mother. How dare you mention my mother? Eh? Ah. How dare you? Never in your life. Don't ever try it again. Mentioning my mother in this matter. Don't ever try it again. Abusing my mother. Ah. Abusing my mother. What are you trying to do? How dare you what mention my mother? Go ahead. Eh? See, my mother. The only I thing I need to do. You. Abusing my mother. Hey, hey, hey. Abusing my mother. I will hey. give you one blow and you ah. will die seven times. Give me. Hey. You hey. don't give me. You are a bastard. You are a bastard. Good for nothing, man. So, oh, good for nothing. Let me deal with this you stupid me. mother. Beat Let me deal with her. Hey, if you don't give me, let me deal with this your mother. You're a bastard. Let me good deal with nothing, her. Good for nothing, man. Good for nothing, man. Do your work. Do your work. Do your work. Do your work. Beat me. 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 Mrs. Wright, I have to be sincere with you. You caused everything. As a Christian wife, you have to respect and submit to your husband. Try and learn from Sarah in the Bible. She called her husband 
Lord, which symbolizes total submission to him. Every man wants to be treated as a king. Yes, a king. And that's who you are. You are a king, not a troublesome man who goes around beating his wife, <laughs> neglecting his meal, and uh, reporting his wives to his friends and family. Mm -mm. Anyone who does such is not doing well. But I'm doing well, Mrs. Wright. If you give your husband the respect due to him, he will surely love you. Honestly, this is all about you. Remember, a wise woman builds a house. Don't pull down your house. Sir, remember the word of God in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 25 says, Husband, love your wife even as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it. I would like to advise you. Show your wife more love. Forget about her weaknesses. Show her love. I pray God will help you. What most men do not know is that if you give your husband the respect due to him, it naturally gives you the control of your home. The problem with most women is that they want to take the direct place of a man at home and there will be problem. Real problem. Hmm? My sister, go back to your husband, your lord, the crown of your head, and adore him. My lord, my king, my husband. I'm sorry for all my behavior over the years, lack of understanding and respect. I promise as from today that I will always obey, honor, respect and adore you. I'm sorry. I am sorry I have treated you so badly over the years. I'm sorry. I promise to always love you and to make you happy all the days of your life. I love you, my queen. <sighs> my dear, you call me a queen? Yeah. That's who you are. Thank you. I'm happy for the new revolution in our home. Thank God. Hey, my dear, I want you to take me out for shopping. I need to change my wardrobe. I should take you out for shopping. Yes. I don't know. Why is it that you cannot think straight? Eh? With all the abandoned projects we have in the family, is it taking you out for shopping that is next? Eh? Is it because I have promised to show you love? That is why you cannot think straight. I should take you out for shopping. My dear. Is there anything wrong in you taking me out? If you don't have money to take me out, must you call me names? Can you see now that you are not a loving husband at all? You are just pretending. Me? I am pretending? Yes. I am pretending. Let me see you enter this car. My dear? My dear, open the door now. Uh, what now? My dear? If 
the iron be blunt and one does not sharpen the hedge then he needs to put in more strength but wisdom is profitable to direct before the first wisdom will work you need to understand that men might might be stingy sometimes and but out of the little money he gives you make sure you prepare good meal from heat and ensure that the table is set before he comes back from work you know the way to a man's heart is through his stomach secondly you need to give him your body i mean absolutely even when it's not convenient for you dress to show him your endowment when you both are alone and in no distant time your husband will not only be taking you out but he will be trusting you with his atm card This food is sweet, the same way you are looking sweet today. I know you will like it, because I took my time to specially make it for you. <laughs> this is delicious. I promise we won't eat out again. Point of correction. Only you will not eat out again. But the whole family can decide to eat out occasionally. Yes, ma. Correction taking. Before you know. <laughs> By now, you should know that your wife is a good cook. Agreed. But you should also give kudos to me for financing the meal. Because if there is no money, there won't be good meal. Is, is it not your responsibility to drop the money? You should at least praise me for all my efforts. M must you talk that way? Is it not your responsibility to cook? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A, a, a lot of husbands drop money for their wives B better than the one you, you gave me. Uh, does that guarantee a good me? And what does that suppose to me? You said it. You said the food is sweet. F forget about the fact that you dropped the money and praise me 100% for a job well done. Hey. Did I say the food is sweet? Me. Which food? This one. <clears throat> this food that has a lot of pepper and too much salt. Pepper and granite oil are traveling different direction. This food. How did I even swallow it? This food sweet. Ah, I don't even know how I swallow it. This is terrible. Listen, you need to go back to your mother's house and learn how to cook good meal. This is a trash. You do. You, do. you need to go back to your father and learn how to be a better husband. I have tried my best to make this marriage work but these challenges are too much for me to overcome <sighs> when will all this rubbish end in my family I have tried so many methods yet with more complications Holy Spirit 
what do I do? Students, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I never planned to see you hot, but honestly, I find it so difficult for us to overcome these marital challenges. Despite all the teachings we have listened to, I feel we should go and see somebody that can help us. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Come and heal our home. Holy Spirit, come and take away problems, take away challenges from this family. We are praying and we are asking in the name of Jesus. Oh, we need her in this family. Lord, please help our home. This family is sinking. This home is sinking. Holy Spirit, we need you to intervene. Lord, we need your help. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come and help us. You don't have respect. You don't love me as your wife. You are very dirty. You are a stubborn man. <coughs> I have come to help you build your home. Both of you have written each other weaknesses in your hand for a very long time. And this is a major problem in your junior. It is a burden that must be lifted off your marriage for you to experience absolute peace. Now, can I have your weaknesses? Hey, oh, hey, Holy Spirit, please, don't go. We need you to help us build our home. Sweet Holy Spirit, please come back. Now, can I have your weaknesses? Now, since both of you have surrendered each other weaknesses to me, I declare your marriage blessed and fruitful. Amen. Amen. Take. This book of the law shall be your manual. You shall find peace there. Amen. Amen. My beloved wife, the siege is removed. Hallelujah. I have found a good thing. I have obtained favor from the Lord. Ah, my Lord, you are the perfect will of God for my life. I thank God for defeating Satan over our marriage. Thank you, Jesus. My dear. Hmm. I promise to honor you with my entire life. Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, I have found my true love. 